Well, hello you guys, and uh, welcome to another episode of DIY Dad. And check out where we are. We are in uh, David's bedroom. Now, just recently, we actually all swapped bedrooms, so none of us are in our original bedrooms. So this room, as you can see with the lovely wood and all that, this all made absolute sense when it was just mine and Sharon's room with a double bed and whatnot. But now we've moved David in, we've got major, major problems. So, you know, I'm just getting to that sort of fitness stage now where I feel I can do just a little bit more work. So I'm going to push myself and do my best. So before I can really do up this room, I've got to do something about all these toys. And as you can see, young David is a brooder toy enthusiast. These are about 1 to 16 scale. I'll just put my hand on it so you can see how big they are. And, uh, I mean, he's got loads. We've been collecting these since he was about two years old, you know. Um, I think it's about 25, I think, when we work at all out ambulances and, uh, oh goodness me, fire, fire engines, construction vehicles, there's a bin lorry, farm vehicles, you've even got a, a what do you call it, what's that called again, combine harvester. So this room makes absolutely no sense now, but it will very soon, because the one thing this room does have is a tremendous amount of cupboard space. Um, and this was Sharon's cupboard before, so again, made perfect sense, or how all our millions of clothes and millions of uh, shoes and whatnot but what we're going to do in here is build in a set of shelves for all David's brooder toys and his boxes of toys and his uh, different bits and pieces you know and that should just about empty this room altogether. Now it's his birthday very soon and um, we've finally got him a, a, like a games console he's kind of to that age now where he's got once a games console for like Minecraft and stuff like that so I need this room empty. So without further ado, let's start making some supports for this uh, cupboard here. Yeah, so right back you guys, and it's just turned extremely, extremely warm. So I'm gonna have to try and take it easy because I bet you'll be sweating quite a bit. But anyway, these are all slats from beds that I've kept. I love keeping wood, you know what I mean? I don't know why, I just love to keep wood. And uh, it, it usually pays off. So what we're going to do is going to cut these pieces of wood as supports for the shelves, which I'll show you in just a little while. But I marked them all out. They're about one meter, one meter twenty-three, one two three, and um, I need. I think we're going to put in like five shelves. I'll see, but I think we'll maybe just put in five. So I think what we're going to do is get the chops on, cut these up. I've already got the chops out. I was doing some um, when I was sorting through all the wood and whatnot. Um, I was cutting up some wood for the fire and stuff, so let's go, let's get this done. Oh, it's hot, you guys, it's hot. I'm sitting watching the Monaco Grand Prix on my phone, I did. historic one from 2018, but it's nice to have it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, so we've just cut them up on the old chop saw here. I was going to do it in camera, guys, but no, it's, it's, uh, it's just far too loud, you know. So what all I need to do with these is just clean up the edges, as you might be able to see. Um, and you clean up the edges of these before we put them on and then we'll screw them up onto the wall. Well, if you thought the room was bad before, well, all the toys lying over the place, it is really bad now, so I'm not going to show you it. <laughs> Never mind, eh? So here we are in the cupboard, you guys, anyway. I've put on the light to try and give us just a wee bit of light to see what we're doing. But basically, you guys, these uh, pieces have got vertically at the moment. We're going to turn horizontally and make these supports either side all the way around um, for some 10 mil ply wood that I'm going to have to go out and buy actually. But um, yeah, so you guys, basically, I mean, I know that that's a solid wall right there. That's a, that's a solid wall right there. That's wooden and that's wooden as well. So I have to find the battens or the uprights, depends where you are, so that I can screw these particular pieces right onto those, making it really, really strong. Now, the problem with our old house is that not a room in this house is square. I'm not kidding you. It is the one of the worst. <laughs> it's one of the worst, you know, but it's only by little bits, you know, but that's all it takes, you know, just all it takes. So um, basically, you guys, you know, I've cut these to a, so an average size of one, two, three. So there might, might be a little gap, you know, it might be little gaps either side, but, you know, nothing much really. And maybe the other ones will actually go in a lot tighter, you know, so... Um, you know, once we've got all these pieces on, you know, you just won't see that anyway, you know, so it's not too big a deal to worry about. But what you want to do, you guys, you know, if, you, if you're one of those people that can tap a wall and find where an upright actually is, then absolutely brilliant. I tend to be really bad at that. So what I use along the length of what's being covered is a little nail, and I try to find it 
like that. They tend to be in these houses about 18 inches apart, so when you find one, you can find the next one. Then, just use the spirit level, and down you go. You'll know where the uprights are, and you can just screw it all on, all the way down. But guys, you know, this is really important. You know, if, if for me, it's absolutely important for my kids to have their own space, their own room, you know, even at this age. And uh, for us to sort of respect that, you know, but it's got to be cool, you guys, you know, it's got to be really nice and, you know, a place where they want to bring their friends and have a laugh, you know, because they, they do have people around and they do have kids around, you know, and they're all mucking around and playing and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, never mind. So basically, you guys, this is what I'm going to do just at the moment before I switch back on and I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So you guys, um, you know, when, when I tend to do a cupboard and stuff, I try my best to you know think about what's actually going to go in there. And it's a great plan to sort of have, you know, and we're going to put this big toy box that's going to slide in and out underneath there, which I think will be great. But then we've got these kind of taller boxes, as you can see, you have got all his army stuff in there. Then we've got his, like his brooder toys. Now I know this is probably the longest and the highest brooder toy that he's got. So I'm going to work off of that, I think. And then, you know, to save him having like a big chest of drawers in his room, we have like four or five of these, um, <coughs> oh, pardon me guys, sorry, you probably can't even see that, of those little bins, you know, so that you can put all his uh, underwear in and his uh, bits and pieces, you know. So it's great just, just to plan out exactly what it's going to look like. Make sure it's really practical, you know, because David's put four feet. I don't know what he. I don't know what he'd be, you know. And his army box, for example, is quite heavy. So I don't want to be putting his army box away up there somewhere, you know. You want it a bit lower down. You want the brooder toys maybe, you know, just so far up. I suppose they're quite light, but they're bulky. So to really think about this, you guys, and hopefully once I once I switch back on, we'll have these slats on to the measurements that I'm kind of assuming that we're going to need, you know. So here we go. Okay, you guys, so we've worked a couple of things out. Hopefully that's going to be pretty good on there. Yeah, I think we've got it. Um, you know, that's the distances that I think that I need, you know, as we go up. So I'm just going to do the first three first, I think, you know, um, and then, you know, push the stuff in and just make sure that it's it's absolutely right, you know. But I'm just I'm not even sure how high we're going to go. It's, it's like one of those jobs where you just make it up as you go along, really, you know. So, and of course, we've got some shot and stuff up there. Old Pampers boxes from years gone by with some of our stuff in there. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So, you know, when you plan this type of thing, you know, all this planning just absolutely works out later, you know, where can you can do a really, really good job. Um one of the one of the bad jobs I actually did in this particular room was when I laid the floor and I didn't seal it underneath. So you know, there's still air gaps coming through which makes the room actually a bit dusty. So when we're doing David's room, we're actually going to tackle that problem too. So hopefully this room is going to look really, really good and uh, be, you know, just cut the dust down to an absolute minimum. So yeah, guys, sorry about the light. It's not too bad, is it? Um, you know, if you, if you want to find the stud going up, you can normally tell by, you know, if you can see some nail marks in the skirting boards, for example, and, uh, you know, you just draw your lines up. But uh, I, th I thought I'd just a little bit higher because his toy box is, you know, it's a little bit bigger. So I thought, oh, we'll have it a bit higher. So another thing, you guys, as well, as you can see here, when you're measuring up onto the next section, you know, remember that your plywood is going to be about 10 mil. So you've got to add that to the distances between the two so everything fits in perfectly, you know. And hopefully once I come back to you, we'll have a bit better light in here because it's actually... I don't know how it's going to come out. It should come out okay. This is just me, again, just really practicing and whatnot. Creating a lot of dust already. <laughs> but never mind. Yeah. So if we can get these going up the wall, nice easy job. And then the side ones the same, like that. And then what we can do then is get the wood on. And once the wood's actually on and all screwed up, we're going to use sealant. And we're going to seal up all these gaps, everything. You know, up the sides, just absolutely everything. So when we do, do put this all back together, this isn't going to be a dusty cupboard anymore. Because it has been quite dusty, this one. Right, I'm going to figure out, see what the kids are doing. David might want to come up and help, so I'm going to give him a shout. There we are, you guys. Sorry about the light before. I've got a better light on us now, look, so I can really get in there. But yeah, so I've basically got it going up, 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 up. Nice and spirit levelled, as it were. And then now I've got to do the side side parts, which are obviously different lengths as per usual. So I've got them all cut to size. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go for it all the way up and all the way down the other side. Now, 
you know, you'd think at this point, you know, put the shelves in, screw them all down and whatnot. But what we actually need to do is get all these gaps sealed, even on the floor, all the way across, all the way up the sides like that, and up either side like this as well. And it might sound like a bit of a palaver. Um, I put our carry on, but what a difference it'll make. This is without doubt the dustiest room in the house. There's, there's no question about it. Because this is actually an extension that was built oh, in the 80s maybe, before we before we bought the house. Maybe 80s, maybe 90s, I don't know. And um, yeah, it's just very dusty. It's just very, very dusty house. So we'll do exactly the same with this room as well. You know, once we've got all the stuff out of his room and up on all these shelves and out of the way, door shut, we can then concentrate on doing his, the room itself and get it all painted for him. Right, you are, guys. Here we go. Look at that. So we've got them all on, all the way down like that, and all the way up the back. So that's cool, you know. And we've really went for it with the support, you know, because, you know, the people that have this house after us could be, you know, some young couple. And they deserve to have something good for their money, you know, so I want to make sure all these things are really good. But also, you know, safety for the kids, you know, we can't put up shelves for them to collapse or something, you know. So I tend to go a little over the top, you know, with the sort of woodwork and the, the amount of screws that I maybe use, you know, just to make sure it's very, very secure. And really, guys, you know, when you've got kids in the house, a lot of you will know, a lot of the fixtures and fittings in the house have to be bulletproof. Or I'll tell you, they're going to get ripped off the wall, you know, j just from playing and having fun, you know, and, and just not thinking. You know, this shelf, you know, the shelves in here would make ideal bunk beds for them, you know, to play with. And, uh, you know, I don't know my wee girl going in that bit up there and, you know, the thing collapsing, you know, goodness me. So, over the top on safety as per usual, but I think it's going to look really, really good. We'll just paint it green, the same colour as what we're going to do the room. Uh, maybe the shelves green as well, I don't know. But pretty much this is going to empty his room from what you saw earlier, you know. So this is a really, really, you know, it's not a big job, but it's going to be a brilliant job to have finished and painted. Because uh, the wee man's going to have plenty of space in his room now. So great, you guys. We'll just switch off. We'll grab onto the next sort of line with this. Um, we'll see where we go from here, I think. So guys, that's just a very, very good stage now. Now as you can see, from having measured everything, his big toy box fits in there just perfectly. And down here, you can see his big Scania um, dump truck, a uh, bucket lorry I should say. It's, I mean, it's just on the door, it is really, really close. But that means that this next shelf, up, maybe, or even the next shelf I should say, will get these brooder toys all stacked up for him so he can easily get to them. And they're nice and safe so they don't roll off and break and stuff, you know. But yeah, a very simple job in some respects, just a bit labour intensive. But uh, what a difference it's going to make. And uh, like these videos will be in so many more of these videos, you know, not, not just you know, little jobs like this, you know, proper jobs that we can really get our teeth into, sort of thing, you know. But you know, these practical jobs are just as important. We've got a reasonably big house, but because we live in Scotland, they make all the rooms really quite small, you know, because it's good for keeping the place warm and stuff like that, you know. So you really have to make best use of all the space that you've got, which is absolutely fine. So guys, um, next job I think is the painter's calc, we would call it, painter's mate. Got all this stuff sealed up, all these bits and pieces. I've left the screws where they are just in case I need to move something or, you know, just, you know, there's no point in getting them all covered over too quickly. And um, we'll see how we get on with that. Right, you guys, so hopefully you can see it now. The, the shelf that I've put in there is actually the shelf from up above, just to see how everything's going to fit in. And like I thought, I'm, I thought we might actually get six of these in just from looking at it. But guys, check out these toys. Now these toys are Bruder toys, and they're one sixteenth scale. I don't know how big Bruder is in the States, you guys are, you know, for you guys that are in the States, but, you know, they're quite big across here. And we've basically been collecting these, um since David was two years old, that, that log lorry, second from the left there, that was uh, the first one we ever got him. And you just, the detail, and they're so robust as well, you know. And this is just some of them, you know. So hopefully we're going to show you all them as well, you know, just in case you've got any kids that kind of like this sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Or even if you just like it yourself, <laughs> like I do. But yeah, if you'll see, we've managed to get the big toy box in there. And there's a, I just stuck that box in there just now, but I think the toy box... We'll probably just stand alone in there because he needs to be able to pull it out. 
and get all the sort of bits and pieces of toys. But hopefully that's sort of starting to give you an idea. I mean, you can see how much room those toys actually take up. And we've got the next shelf to go as well with that type of thing. So it should be pretty awesome once it's done. Oh my goodness, you guys, we're getting there slowly but surely. So yeah, I didn't think his Breer Toys would take up just quite as much as that, but they have three shelves. Wow, I've got this uh, bit on the bottom there. That's great. So yeah, I find some, um, just, oh, I'm sure you didn't want to see me just cutting wood. But I find quite a lot of these pieces of wood, this nice finished stuff, you know. And obviously I can sand that. And I think I'll leave gaps between them, you know, just so it's, so it's all really nice. So um, I'm going to show David this in a little while. They're all just back from an east or something. And it just started raining as well. But as you can see, we're building up quite a collection. You know, like I said, and David was too we began this. And that um, log lorry over there was his, was his first, you know. But yeah, I think I've got it the right way around. You know, he's got some of his favourites in the bottom, which are really to hand. You can get these ones off himself okay. And the lighter ones are up there. You can stand on his weed. He's got like a wee stool he can stand on to, to get up and get these. But David really wants to do a bit of a YouTube special, actually. Um, where we sh show each one in turn, you know, all the little uh, bits and pieces. And I'll tell you something, guys, dads, these things are really impressive. You know, they really, really are impressive. And uh, we're going to keep on collecting them. The one little thing that I've kind of maybe fallen short with just a little bit is, you know, is getting more in the future. And as you can see, we're pretty much packed up on three shelves, you know. So I might have to extend that top shelf out and put kind of like all the littler ones up there. So he's got a little bit more room, but I think what we'll maybe have to do is take a couple out, you know, if he gets a new one for his birthday or his Christmas, is, you know, take one out and put it out as like a bit of an ornament in the room and uh, get, give it space for another, but boy, oh boy. So as you can see, look how much stuff we've taken from the bedroom, you know, and put it up here in the cupboard. And we've still got a spare shelf up top for all the games that we're going to put up there as well. So this is a, this is a huge space saver for us. So guys, I hope you're enjoying it. You know, I'm going to do all the filling and the sand and all the bits and pieces. Maybe not on camera, you know. But um, I'll do all that and we'll get this baby all painted up as well so it looks really good. I personally quite like the uh, the, the wood look. But, um, you know, in this day and age, you know, it just, it just looks a lot better painted. So I'll take the time and do it properly. Yeah, so guys, here we are. I've took the, I've took the light out of the way there because you've obviously seen sort of most of that inside there now. But boy, oh boy, we've really broken the back of this job. And this place was a tip just earlier, as you saw. But um, going round, an old radiator cover um, that we don't use. Got a big thing in it, but I can fix that, make it look really good. And now, for the very first time, he's got an actual TV in his room. You know, some of our kids are absolutely great, you know, when it comes to TV, you know, they're not too much, not too little, you know, they, they do crafts and arts and stuff like that, you know. So, um, well, let's get this TV in their room and get it all sorted. But the room's red just now because that was a colour that Sharon really liked, you know, for a, when this was our bedroom. You can see the wood floor and all the bits, you know. But this isn't a kid, you know, this is not a kid's room. You know, I need to make it into a proper kid's room for them. And again, you guys, it's just... You know, it's, it's vital. It's just so vital. And it's just, you know, it just takes about a weekend's work or a bit of elbow grease, you know. I haven't actually spent any money yet. <laughs> but I will when I get the paint, obviously, but I haven't spent any money yet, you know. I'm trying to use this uh, reclaimed stuff from the house and, you know, old stuff like this radiator cover is actually really nice, you know. And all I need to do is get another piece like that and uh, staple it on the back and get this all painted up, get the wall painted. And of course, you know, he's getting a PS4 for his, uh, for his birthday, which is coming up soon. And uh, I've got to think about how to wire all that in so there's not wires all over the shop. You know, it's just, I just don't want to do that. But I think we should get him up and give him a little look around, eh? Right, so guys, we are back and we're going to give a little surprise for David. Come see. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like that? Yeah. Now that bit's broken. This is an old radiator cover, isn't it, son? So we're going to have to get a new little backing for it so it looks the other side of that. And then, look. All my boots are torn. <laughs> Almost all. Now, what are you getting for your birthday? A old boy. Oh, yeah. go, go and come in. Go and come in a little bit, son. What are you getting for your birthday, though, with that TV? A old boy. A boy we're getting, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So you guys in America, we're getting a Mac, aren't we? Yeah. 
you're getting a Mac. But what's your big present? PS4. Yeah, PlayStation 4, baby. So we've had to set up this TV for you, haven't we, son? Yeah. You've never had a TV in your room yet. And um, this is how you turn it on. Yeah, we got it from a friend, didn't we? So it was nice of him. So we've got that in David's room now. And, but see, David, I think one of the problems we've got, darling, is see when we get new ones. We don't have a lot of space, do we? I think, you know, either side of your TV, I think we should put a brooder toy either side of your TV so we can get a little bit more space. My Dad, what if we put a yetto one here and another yetto one here? That is a great idea. That's what we're going to do. What do the sun? I think we're looking good, eh? Dad, we can put some brooder toys on that table. Yeah. So we still have to paint, don't we? That's yeah. the next job. Daddy's going to have to paint, and this room is going to look awesome when it's done. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll get back to painting later, won't we, son? Yeah. And we'll get it all painted up for Davido. And we'll get, I think, how many days till your birthday? 20... 28. 28? Oh, it's not that far away now, is it? Yeah. So we need to get the PS4 all rigged up in this bit here so there's no wires all over the shop. Hey. Mm -hmm. And we're getting you a bean bag, eh? You and Emily bean bags. My bean bag will here and I'll be sitting. That's right. Again. So let's get the rest of this job done, but we'll get back to this job a little later, you guys. So listen, thanks for watching. And we'll get back, eh? Yeah. God bless.